the second one, and I picked this up for a coach, and I think this is a, a really important one to me. Um, uh, there was like basically a hustle word. And then one of the things that was said by the coach there, she was talking about how it really meant something to her when she saw kids, like when she'd call them in and they'd run there and they would be first and they'd show up first. And I noticed that right away. And I noticed that um, the kids that were willing to run there and, you know, Again, I know, like I talk a lot about basketball, but I feel there's so many lessons that I've learned from basketball that I apply to life, apply to education. Uh, one of the things that Michael Jordan was known for was in practice, he would do everything as hard as possible. He would push first. And because people followed that example, they were willing to do this. But that's part of the reason Michael Jordan was Michael Jordan. He wasn't like really, really amazing and then kind of slacked off. There's, again, so many players that are, you know, aren't willing to do this. And, you know, I... Um, I, I keynote a ton of conference and what a blessing that is. And I'm very proud of that. And I'm, I'm saying that because, um, I also, if I ever get the opportunity, I go and see other speakers at those conferences. I don't sit in the back unless I, I know I got to dip out really early and I don't want to be disruptive, but if I can sit through the whole thing, I sit right up front. I sit up there. I want to learn. I want to connect. I want to get better. I want to learn some ideas. want to share some thinking and I feel like if I continue to do that, that I'll never face irrelevancy because I'm always having that willingness to grow, getting there first, where a lot of times you see people in education and probably all the other fields, but I, I know education better, so I can't really speak for other fields, is a lot of times we get there early so we can sit as far away as possible. And I don't know what that says when we do that. Uh, I get it sometimes, right? Like, because maybe professional learning is sucked. And you're like, well, this, we know this is going to suck, so I'm going to check out. But do you actually take an onus on making professional learning something that works for you? Or do you have an expectation that you better be good or else I'm not going to get anything out of this? I think when you go into the mindset, and that's something I've been saying for a long time, I haven't had a bad professional learning experience in years because I always take something away from it because I force myself to do that. I show up, I do these things. I actually, uh, weirdly enough, uh, I just took a training to become a spin instructor. And I taught spin for years and years and years in Canada, but I had to get recertified if I wanted to do it in the U.S. And the person who was teaching the class, um, he was great, but I have way more years of experience doing this than he does. But guess what? I sat there and I took in everything. I sat in the front and there's a lot of things I learned because he provided perspectives that I didn't have. He provided techniques and, and experiences and things that I didn't know and so even if you feel that, hey, I am actually, it, like when I, when I hear this, and I'm going to say this is something that drives me bonkers about education, like, oh, you haven't taught long enough, like to give it, really? Really? This is what we're saying? Like imagine a new teacher saying like, hey, you will have to have like X amount of years. No, I'm not saying that, you know, a 10-year teacher knows the same amount as a first-year teacher, but I am saying the first-year teacher has ideas and thoughts that the 10-year teacher might not have and can benefit from. And if you're not looking for that, you're going to, again, you're going to just kind of, kind of fall back. And so I think just kind of being eager, to, I, when I say that the idea be there first, it's the eagerness to learn. It's the eagerness to like put yourself in the front, sharing that too. And do we have that? And um, one of the things I challenge people with, and I've, I've shared this before as well, is that when we do professional learning days, learn in a way that you'd expect from your students. 